Hello everyone, this is Sam with the Gen Mafia, and I'm doing a new little series called What Is. What Is, it's similar to a review, uh, except it's just kind of talking about a new game and some of the little details about it. Uh, the game that I'm going to be covering today is known as RuneScape Idle Adventures. So you may or may not have heard of a little game called Adventure Capitalist. Uh, it's pretty much a passive little AFK game where you'll click around and you make some money and then you buy more things and then you'll make more money off of it. Uh, it's a fun little game that was pretty popular for a while there. Uh, this is actually made with the same people that did the Adventure Capitalist and RuneScape itself, Jagex. They got together and they made basically an Adventure Capitalist with a RuneScape skin. Although there is a few more features in this that the uh, Adventure Capitalist did not have. So it's pretty cool in that aspect. You have things, you know, you have quest, uh, you have leveling, you even have some combat and dungeoneering and things like that. It's pretty cool. Um, if you played RuneScape, it's a great way to kind of hit that nostalgia button and kind of please that up a little bit. So I am going to be covering a couple of the things. Uh, some of the audio, I'll just briefly go over that. It has some good audio right now, and I got to preface, preface this by saying that this game is still in beta. So what this looks like right now and some of the stuff that you'll hear right now may not necessarily uh, hold up in the future. There, I assume there will be many changes by the time that this thing has actually been officially released and the 1.0 version of the game is out. But I'm doing this in the beta, I think it's .07 or .7 right now. Uh, so it's along fairly well. Um, but I want to get back to the audio. The audio is good. Uh, it has like a nice chill ambiance music. There's a few little sound effects that would go around like when you click around in different menus and you do different quests and things like that. And even in some of the combat they have their own little special sound effects. So that is pretty cool. Overall the sound effects sound pretty good. Uh, it's just a nice chill kind of game. It works perfectly with the theme that they're going with here. Uh, questing, you know, that's another thing I want to talk about. Uh, the combat I'll get into a little bit. And overall, just some of the things that you are going to do in the game. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to jump right into it with the beginning of the game. And we're starting off, you go in and you have a character customization. You can choose between two genders, or two sexes rather. Uh, you have the male and the female. I ended up choosing a male. I named him Poseidon just because that's what I like to do. Uh, then it drops you down in the first area and it's a runescape area and you go in there and you have you meet a guy. Uh, his name is Farmer Fred and if you're familiar with runescape at all you'll know who Farmer Fred is. Uh, he gives you your first quest and it's basically you know just to go ahead and get yourself some fish uh, nothing too crazy there and it's actually it's really cool um, you you won't talk to just Farmer Fred you'll meet some of the other people uh, there's like Duke Horatio and stuff like that from Lumbridge you'll even meet some of the gods from the RuneScape lore it's pretty cool um, and you're basically trying to figure out your backstory you know why are you here things like that but when you start getting into the interface and you start talking with people you'll notice that there's three uh, options for the most part, and they vary a little bit, but for the most part it's like angry, silly, uh, and nice and stuff like that. There is something that also uh, you will be able to kind of skip a quest, but that's a little bit later on down the road. Uh, so you'll go in, you'll get your quest, and you can go ahead and look through. You, you'll see things like rewards that you'll get, and then for the most part you just want to go fill those out, and after you're done with it, you know, you'll be rewarded with whatever it is. Uh, I'm pretty sure that they're all set. I don't think it's random. For the most part, you end up with XP, money for the game. It's like blue anima, I believe is what it's called. And then there's also red anima. Uh, the animas are used to buy levels uh, and also buy upgrades to your areas. Like if you're familiar with Adventure Capitalist, you would buy more uh, like lemonade stands and you would make more money. It's pretty much the same thing here. You'll just have more people going and working for you so you'll make more money. Uh, fairly simple stuff. Fairly straightforward. Pretty cool. So we're going to be transitioning into the combat pretty quick here. Um, it, it's The combat is pretty cool. Uh, it's fairly simplified, nothing too crazy about it, and you actually get into the combat areas a little later on in the game. Um, so in the combat areas, you'll get 
three boxes and you can choose three things. You can either choose like ranged, magic, and uh, melee. And it has a little timer bar and once the timer bar goes up it'll do damage. And you go against different things. There's spiders, zombies, uh, ghosts, and things like that. Just some of the basic runescape enemies. Um, it's pretty cool. You start off very, very basic. Uh, and you'll unlock new skills as you play through the game and then you can use those interchangeably. You don't have to use, you know, your melee and stuff like that. And I would actually recommend you don't. Um, you just use it until you get to a certain point and then you can use some of your other skills. It's all just kind of exploring around. And this may change, like I said, as the game reaches its final release. Uh, the one thing I will say is there's no real consequence to dying in this game. Uh, so when you're dungeoneering you have your health bar and when the enemies tick you down it doesn't really have any negatives to dying. Um, you just, you'll die in the dungeon and you won't finish that level and then you'll just go back to your towns and uh, just go from there. It doesn't have any sort of like slap on the wrist even. Um, so that's good or bad depending on how you are. Uh, so it definitely leaves a lot of room for beginners to kind of learn uh, and whether or not that changes down the road. I would like to see a change. I would like to see there be some sort of punishment for dying in the game. But who knows? Uh, you're seeing me right now go through and I'm using uh, melee and archery and stuff like that. So you, you got a little bit of a show on the different kinds of things. Uh, as you go through and do quests, you'll also unlock different equipment and you can go ahead and equip those to your character and there's a little gear thing and when you equip it, it actually shows your character uh, if you saw my guy at the very beginning, and I'll show him a little bit at the end as well, they the guy, you will get uh, different kinds of things. You will look different. So that's kind of cool. You get some different kinds of skins and stuff like that. Um, as I was mentioning earlier, there's also like the buying feature and stuff like that. So you'll go through and you'll click on things, and it'll get you more money. Um, it's, it's pretty basic, like I said, if you play Adventure Capitalist. There's also little things so you could buy in multiples just to kind of speed it up and it has an auto save feature as well as you're going along. Pretty basic stuff here. Um, there is also an options menu in the upper left hand screen there. Uh, when you click on that it opens up different things. You can edit your resolution, your sound effects, uh, and all that kind of good stuff. There's also a hard reset so that way you can start all the way from the beginning if you really want to. Uh, pretty basic stuff there. It's pretty cool. I've reset once just to kind of, you know, see what it's like. Um, other than that, it's another thing that's pretty cool. Uh, you're able to travel to different locations in the RuneScape game. It sticks pretty well to the free-to-play areas for the most part, at the moment anyways. Um, so there's like Falador, Lumbridge, Varrock, the basic kind of areas. Um, and each area has different resources that you're able to work on and different skills that you're able to work on there. So each area is unique and they have their own, you know, kind of set of things that you want to work on there. Uh, they also have unique characters and the characters are actually pretty fleshed out. They have little cheeky references to the RuneScape game and it's very, very cool. Uh, something I think they did very, very well. So as you see there, uh, there's the different skills and if you click on it you'll notice how my little thing was uh, glowing there, the pickaxe was glowing, that means I'm working on my mining skill. Um, it, it's pretty cool, a lot of quests will require you to go through and complete it so many times and you'll level it up. Uh, teach different villagers you know, how to mine, that's what the clicking and buying thing is for, it's essentially like you're saying that you're teaching other people how to do this. Um, very very cool kind of stuff there. Uh, it levels up your skills and as you level up your skills you get perks, uh, different perks. You know, it, it's usually in the thing of uh, it'll speed it up, uh, it costs less to buy more of those. It's, it's just kind of very very basic stuff right now. And it's a multiples of 5, so like 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, you'll get different things all the way up to 99. Uh, 99 you're probably going to end up with your best perk. So even the equipment those will give you little buffs to your skills that you're working on. So it'll help you mine faster, it'll help your levels go up quicker, which is very, very cool. There's even combat ones, uh, bows, daggers, things like that. Uh, all in all, uh, it's pretty cool. I think they flesh the game out very, very well, and I don't have much, much to complain about. Like I did say, though, it is early beta. Um, but it is, it's a promising looking game. 
and I really, really think that you guys should check it out. Uh, and I'd like to thank you guys for checking out this video as well. It was a lot of fun. I'm still playing this game to the day, and uh, I I don't <laughs> I don't know if I'll stop. I got addicted to Adventure Capitalist pretty early on, so we'll see how it goes. But thanks for checking out the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, you know, please give me a thumbs up. I would love to do this series again. It was a lot of fun to kind of go through and do and play some under underground games, if you will, uh, and bring them to you guys. And also, please subscribe to the channel. Join the family. I always love having more people in my family. I will be back with more videos for you guys. Thank you.